the Seattle Seahawks are the best team in the NFL. Now, yes, we did lose in the first round of the playoffs. We got absolutely demolished. Yes, we had the worst defense in the first half of the season. Yes, our offense sucked in the second half of the season. But we're the best team in the NFL, and there's one key reason, and that's the Rona. COVID-19 cases for Seattle, zero. Every other team, more than zero. That's a huge dub for Seattle. That means our players can follow directions, follow protocols. That means that we're a well-coached team. I mean, best team in the NFL. We may not have played like the best team, but we definitely acted like the best team. The coronavirus was no doubt a huge thing in this NFL season. And I mean, there are a lot of teams that were affected by it very heavily. We had the Broncos who literally didn't have a quarterback for a whole week and they had to play a wide receiver that they picked up off their practice squad to play quarterback because he played quarterback for like a year in college. And then, I mean, Lamar Jackson had it. They had to move that game back to like Wednesday or Tuesday or something. So there were definitely a lot of cases where the coronavirus came in and made a huge impact on how teams actually played and how things actually went in the NFL. But I mean, no matter what you think about the coronavirus, how it's being handled in the real world or whatever, it's definitely a big, big feat for the Seattle Seahawks to have had zero COVID cases because there's a ton of people within an NFL area and to have no players having that when you're bringing people up from the practice squad, putting people down from the practice squad, signing, trading players, you know, there were a lot of things that the Seahawks did in this last season and to have zero COVID cases is absolutely amazing for the Seahawks. It just shows how well coached the players were, how everyone followed the protocols that they were meant to follow, no matter what you think about them, no matter what they thought about them. They followed them, they did what they had to do. They basically did what their job asked them to and they did it really well. They did it better than everyone else in the entire NFL. And no matter how poorly we played, no matter how much pain we experienced throughout the season, we have this one thing to say that we are better than every other team in the NFL in terms of following directions. Now, yes, the Seahawks definitely had some players that didn't follow directions completely, but that wasn't about the coronavirus. There was Kima Silverand, uh, who was a rookie corner on the practice squad, I believe. He tried to bring a woman into the training camp by dressing her up in practice uniforms. I don't know what he thought was gonna come out of that because women don't play in the NFL, but he tried his best. He got cut very quickly after that happened. That did happen, and I mean, there were some other situations. Everyone knows the Chad Wheeler situation. That was absolutely horrible. Chad Wheeler sucked as an offensive lineman and he sucked as a person off the field. So, I mean, there were definitely some situations where the Seahawks didn't follow directions off the field. But overall, when it came to the coronavirus, best team in the league, baby, that's what we are. With zero COVID cases, everyone else more than one. That's all I can say. We did better than everyone else in the league when it came to the coronavirus. Russell Wilson, he threw 40 touchdowns. He also had a lot of interceptions. We had our running backs injured basically half the season, like every season, but still best team in the league, no matter how bad we did in the playoffs, no matter how bad we did in the second half of the season, no matter how much pain, how much anger, and how much disappointment we had throughout the season, we have one thing going for us. And that is the fact that our players, at least, you know, when they're in the organization, can follow directions. Even outside of the coronavirus, the Seahawks were still a great team. I mean, we were number one in the coronavirus. We definitely weren't number one when it came to actually playing football. Our offense was top 10 overall when it came to the stats. Second half of the season, going into the playoffs, we played absolutely horribly. We just got predicted. We just kind of got understood. Everyone knew what we were going to do on offense. Our defense started playing really well. I mean, Jamal Adams, he broke the record for the most sacks by a defensive back. So, I mean, really good for him. We had KJ Wright. He was an absolute superstar this year. He played absolutely amazing. Carlos Dunlap, an amazing trade for us. We had Quentin Dunbar came in. He had a, like one good game and then didn't do good the rest of the season, then went out, had to get surgery. Shaquille Griffin played all right. Quandre Diggs had probably the best season he's had so far. And I mean, we had a good overall defense this year. I mean, the first half was not good, but second half, we really picked it up. We looked like a top five defense in that second half of the season. But in turn, our offense played horribly. Our offense played great in the first half of the season. So overall, I mean, this was definitely a season of up and downs. I mean, we did great when it came to the coronavirus. We did horrible when it came to the first half of the season playing defense. We did great in the second half of the season playing defense. And our offense was just all over the place. People figured us out. We started playing horribly. I think this is definitely a good thing going into next season. If our offense can play like they did in the first half of the season and not like they did in the second half of the season, if we can play amazing on offense but not start to get predicted and understood by other teams, I think we could play absolutely amazing. I think we could be one of the best teams in the NFL next season if we can figure out our offense and if our defense can play anything like it was in the second half of the season consistently throughout the entire season. I mean, there's a lot of great things that came out from this season. There's a lot of horrible things that came out from this season. 
but hopefully going into next season we can fix the bad things and build on the great things that happened hopefully our players can still follow directions be good people unlike chad wheeler hopefully we can just go into next season have no issues on and off the field and maybe be one of the best teams in the league but right now the seahawks obviously didn't make it to the super bowl so they aren't the best team in the league when it comes to playing football but rona rona we did the best number one number one that's what we are but i mean for the super bowl might as well just quickly predict it i think the chiefs are going to win i would like to see the bucks win just because the chiefs are obviously going to win like five more championships i'd like to at least get one year off from them being an absolute dynasty but I mean, we'll see what goes on. We'll see what happens in the Super Bowl. I'm going to predict that the Chiefs are going to win, but I would love for the Bucks to win. I don't like Tom Brady, but I would rather see the Chiefs not have like 18 Super Bowls by the end of the next 18 years. So we'll see what happens in that. But overall, Seahawks are the best team in the entire NFL when it comes to not getting the Rona. That is a great accomplishment. No matter how bad we did in the NFL season, when it came to playing football, we did great at not getting the Rona. But that's going to do it for this video. Let me know down below in the comments what you thought about the Seahawks having zero coronavirus cases, unlike every single other team who actually had one or more. That's absolutely amazing for us, in my opinion. But let me know down below in the comments what you thought. Leave a like if you enjoyed and subscribe if you're new. And with that, I'd like to thank you for watching. Have a great day.